All right, guys, so we are back today and we're gonna be doing something a little bit out of the usual. Today, Caitlin and I just picked up our rental car and we are on the way to Denver, Colorado right now. We're going on our honeymoon and we're gonna be doing a bunch of different things when we're out there. Um, the first thing that we're gonna do when we make it out tomorrow is we're going to a Denver Broncos game. So we're going to a home game and I've been waiting my whole life to go to a, a home Denver game, so super pumped about that. We'll probably uh, throw in a little bit of a little bit of video and maybe some pictures of um, being there. But we're gonna do that, and then we got a place to stay by Colorado Springs. So we're gonna just kind of do some exploring out there, do some just do some uh, random stuff, and I think we got a trout fishing expedition plan for next Thursday so the adventure starts now We're putting a bunch of miles on and we will uh, keep you updated when stuff happens I don't have the mic on, probably windier than hell right now. But we're above 12,000 feet right now, and I think we're gonna max out a little over 14,000. But just stopped and took a little, take a little break up here. It's freaking badass. All right guys, Kate and I, we're out doing a little bit of driving around. Um, we're on national park land right now and we're kind of just doing a little bit of scouting. We're gonna go out and walk around, do some hiking tomorrow and maybe see if we can stumble upon an elk or mule deer shed. So that's kind of what we're up to right now. We're just uh, trying to figure out where we got service and whatnot because if we don't have service, we're not gonna be able to um, use the Onyx app to look at the map and everything. So I'm kind of just trying to uh, put some waypoints 
um, where we're driving right now and where we're scoping out. And then I'm going to go back later on um, tonight and explore some of these waypoints where it looked kind of good. But things are looking promising for us. I think we're in the perfect area for it because out of everywhere we've been, I've seen more like statues of elk and deer and um, houses that just have sheds all over the place and stuff like that. So I think we're in the right area to to find that kind of stuff that we're out here hopefully trying to find. It'd, it'd be awesome to see some elk and stuff. But on the way in here, um, on this drive right now, we just seen a handful of mule deer and pretty sure we saw an elk too. Not 100% about it, but it was all by itself and we didn't get a great look at it, but I'm pretty sure it was an elk. So we've seen some mule deer now, we've seen some elk. We're gonna hopefully uh, get our eyes on some big bull elk, hopefully get some video of them, and then see if we can find a shed or two. So, wish us luck. here bright and early. Kayla and I are gonna do some hiking today. Um, we got a trail right back behind us that we're gonna go on. And sorry about the vehicle noise, we're kinda right off of a fairly heavily traveled road. But uh, there's a huge, huge, huge chunk of land here. There's like just tens of thousands of acres of national forest here. So the goal today is to hopefully find a shed. We're gonna try to just get off the beaten path as much as we can and try to find stuff that people probably haven't walked. <clears throat> um, mule deer or elk shed would be awesome for us. Either one, one of them would be great. If we could find more than one, that'd be awesome. <clears throat> but other than that, we're just gonna be out here trying to find some wildlife and enjoying all the scenery. So, wish us luck, let's get out there and get this day started. These are definitely elk beds right here. They almost seem fresh too. They're not warm, but it's badass. Well guys, Kate and I have been at it for a while here. We're, we're hoping to find some sheds, but it's not really the ideal time to be out here shed hunting. And I'm sure with it being public land, a lot of it's been walked already. But as you can see here, we found a uh, what, what appears to be a rub from an elk. I would assume anyway, because you can see all the way up here, even above where my head's at, it's kind of tore up a little bit. But yeah, the whole thing is just shredded. That's pretty freaking sweet. We found, found a lot of poop, a lot of elk poop, some average trails, not anything crazy, but this is pretty cool. It's obviously fresh, you know, that bright orange color, but I don't know, we're gonna keep walking and hopefully we can stumble upon a big old antler somewhere too, or see some elk, but we'll see. It's been a long day, but I've kept telling Caitlin, you know, we're both just gassed. I think we put on like six miles at this point up and down these hills and I've kept telling her we just got to get away as far away as we can from where people are and we're just kind of going down you can see there's must have been a big fire here a couple years ago and it's all kind of growing back so we're going up and over these hills I've been trying to just glass out ahead of us on these hillsides well I just got up to the top of the hill here where I could see quite a bit and I kicked up two giant mule deer bucks absolute giants 
and I didn't have enough time to pull out a camera or anything. They just ran over the hill and they were gone. But I was just kind of looking around and I thought I seen a shed. Pulled out the bino, sure as heck there's a shed lane over there on the hillside. So it's a ways away. We're gonna have to go walk over there and grab it, but we're gonna also probably look around a little bit more, see if we can spot another one. And then, I don't know, I think we're in the right area now for sure. So we'll see if we can maybe find a second one. There they are, I got them. Yeah, surface up here. All right, Caitlin and I are on the way down this big, nasty hill. We might try to find an alternative route to get over there, but our shed is just sitting right over across the valley over there. But yeah, we might have to try to figure out another way to sneak over there because this looks pretty gross. All right, made it down to the bottom here. This is about right where those two big mealies were at when I kicked them up. But that shed's just up the hill from here all by itself. So we were kind of thinking those deer were down bedded in here when I kicked them up just now. I'm wondering if the other side or even more sheds could be down in this little ditch too. It'd be pretty tough to find them, but probably be worth a shot looking for them. All right, made it down through that little ditch. And I'm sure these videos do not do it justice how steep and crazy this stuff is to get through. But we got down through there and we can just see it sticking out like a sore thumb. It looks even bigger now that we've gotten over to this side. Oh man. That makes all of this worth it, right there. That is an awesome sight. There it is. Well, definitely not a giant for a mule deer, but compared to the sheds we usually find, that's, that's an awesome, awesome shed. And to find it on our honeymoon, that's kind of hard to beat too. Okay. First mule deer shed I've ever found in my life right here. And we got it on video. Man, look at that. That's incredible. Wow. <laughs> I don't think we could have a better story to tell about this one either. Just the fact that we're Kate and I are on our honeymoon right now out in Colorado. Decided to leave one day aside for looking for some sheds out here. Not the best time of year to do it, and I'm sure a lot of this land's been walked by several people, but we had a game plan just to try to get off the beaten path and it paid off, got lucky, and we we got it done. And then on top of that, I kicked up two giant deer. I'm pretty sure. I got some decent footage of them um, a little bit after they ran over this hill, but I was standing over on the other side there and they were bedded right down here in the bottom and I kicked them up and they ran just right here and the shed was laying right here. So, I mean, it was pretty awesome. Not only did we find the first shed of the trip, hopefully more to come, but a couple big old mealies that we kicked up and got to see too. So, awesome. Let's go. All right, guys, so I just came down this valley to uh, scope a, a dead elk out, see what it was. Ended up being a really old, um, small bull, just had like one spike, super deteriorated. But I started going back up the hill to meet up with Caitlin, and this thing blends in like crazy. There's a shed antler laying right here, just a tiny one. I mean a tiny one. Look at that thing. <laughs> That sucker has been there for a minute. Wow. <laughs> Shed number two for us. There it is, Kate. Nice. Probably wasn't gonna see that one from way the heck over there, but this hillside right here, it's kinda 
there's not really a good vantage point anywhere over there to glass it. So we kind of just had to come and walk it and sure enough, we found one. We're on our last full day of our honeymoon out here in Colorado. Neither one of us have ever fly fished, so uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. But yeah. it's going to be pretty sweet. Hopefully, both be able to catch an ar Arctic grayling today and then maybe some trout too. So let's get after it. <laughs> 